I'm going to say something to us. That's moving. Did you feel it? Can you go back the other way? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Well it's done. Going back the other way. It's going. There we go. Oh my That's god. That's amazing. child laugh behind me or giggle on the stairs. And on the stairs was this little girl and his man just sitting there. But it was definitely a little girl's face, but I couldn't see her arms, her legs, nothing like that. Uh, it, it shook me a bit. Because these get cleaned down every night, I knew that it couldn't be from one of us and there was like a child's handprint just on the edge as if she'd kind of like peered over or leant on it to kind of look over at something. Well tonight, we're in the heart of medieval hitching, in the market square. Now don't be fooled by the facades on some of these buildings here, because they actually date back hundreds of years. Probably based on the site of ancient market stalls, long forgotten. Now underneath this square, it's alleged there's a catacomb of corridors, tunnels which lead off to all buildings around this area, linking St Mary's Church to Hitchin Priory, which is down the end of Sun Street. But we're not here to investigate those tonight. We're here at Bar Amigo. Now the last time I was here, I was enjoying their delicious food. But after hours, staff have reported all sorts of things, ghostly images on their CCTV. Footsteps on floors above when there's no one else in the building. Sounds, things being moved. What is actually going on in this building? What dark secrets does it hold? Are you locked up here? Could be. Oh, what was that? Have you been up these stairs before? Yep. Yes. yes. That's a definite yes. Yeah. This could be our most scariest haunted location to date. All sorts of paranormal activity has been happening here over the years. A toilet roll flew from behind me and hit my colleague. There's like an energy, uh, like an energy flow, like a flow of energy. It felt like there's somebody coming down the steps. A young child grabbed the back of my car. Here we go again. And magazines flew off the table. Used to come down here and have a crafty cigarette. I've heard faint whistling. There was no one in the hotel at that time. Go into room six, you'll see uh, an image of the lady in blue. What was that? Over the years, we've had members of staff here. We've seen a ghostly figure walking through walls. We've had guests who say they've actually been touched by a spiritual being. What is actually going on here? We're haunted here, Jim. I was counting up the till one evening, it was late, probably about half past twelve, my quarter to one time. Um, the rest of the staff were cleaning up tables back there. And I heard a child laugh behind me or giggle on the stairs. I um, mean, it's too late at night to be, you know, the local restaurants or people walking home. Um, sort of swung round, obviously nobody's there, no, everyone's carrying on with their own business, so um, no explanation for it. You know, 100% it was a child giggling. Um, we've had the uh, music turn itself off or turn itself down. Um, menus have been knocked off the side. Stuff gets moved. You could put something down, come back, and then where have I put that? You know, you, 
just just random things um, and, and seeing something out the corner of your eye you know when you step back here to count the till you, you catch something out the corner of your eye on the stairs and the cold drafts you know a blast you get a cold air um, it's just I can't explain it really very late at night it's like it must have been about half 11 12 I was the only one in the building at the time. There was no one here, no noise. I turned around and I saw, and I saw a shadow right by my feet. I turned around and it went again. I thought, okay, I didn't think much of it. It went, went about my business and I saw another white figure. So I, so, so I walked up the stairs and on the stairs was this little girl and this man just sitting there. It freaked me out. I was like, oh my God. Um, and then as I got uh, closer to the top of the stairs, they didn't vanish. Um, and then there's been other times where I say I've walked up here and I've heard a noise. No one else is here but me. And I've turned around and literally I've, I've, there's a bang, there's a crash. I've gone, wow, what's this? So I've investigated it and realised that something's been moved, something's been knocked over. Yeah, um, I think the worst one was, it must have been about two o'clock in the morning. Um, it was a very late shift at work. I was up here, cook, 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 and change for work. Um, and I heard a massive crack downstairs. And as I walked downstairs, there were glasses everywhere, glasses, cups, the whole lot on, on the floor. Um, and I was the only one in the building at the time. So yeah, I was quite freaked out, um, but that's, but that's all I have experienced since I've been here. But I know there's a girl and an old man and a old, and there's a woman that I've been here for years. Um, when when my son first took the place over, um, we'd only had it. He'd only had it a couple of weeks, and I don't know. I think he was still on holiday, and we come up here to paint, tie you know, just make it nicer. And I just thought, well, I'm going to the toilet, you know, like you do. And I walked in, and as I walked in here, this, like, it's like a, um, it's like a sh shadow, but a wisp. But it was definitely a little girl's face, but I couldn't see her arms, her legs, nothing like that. Uh, it, it, it shook me a bit. And then I thought, oh, I must have been imagining it. But somebody else has seen it, I've seen her too. So I really, don't know if I saw it or not, but it did look real to me, you know. And so um, that's all I really know. So I don't, I'm not up here much, but I do remember that day. It was a little bit, you know, you've made you feel a little bit as if you had seen it and you hadn't. But I had seen it, but whether it was a little girl or not, but it's not the first time. Somebody else has seen a little girl. They've also seen a man, but I have never seen him. I came in on a Sunday, and I've come out here to chat to everyone, because, you know, when we all come in, we say hello and that. And I walked over and stood there, and I just turned around and faced the side here. And because these get cleaned down every night, I knew that it couldn't be from one of us, and there was, like, a child's handprint just on the edge, as if she'd kind of, like, peered over or leant on it to kind of look over at something. And we all kind of stood back, had a look to see, and we were all like measuring our hands against it. And we just couldn't believe it. It was, it was so tiny, and yet it was just, we just couldn't believe it. And you know, you stand there think, did you actually see that? And there was, there was me, the two chefs, and another lady that came in to work with me, waiter. And we, yeah, we all just looked and just completely shocked. And no one dared wipe it off. But, um, Yes, yeah, so also when we was out here as well, we've come in from work, come in to work, and um, there's been like broken glass on the floor, like a smashed glass off the side, which we know is not here when we've left, because we would have cleared it up. And it's just weird things like that. And you'd hear, so when we was in the kitchen here, you heard a clapping. There was like a, someone just like, a, like a child just going like that, like that. And obviously everyone's all looking like, who's done that? Because it was just, just went on like that and then completely stopped. And then we didn't know what was going on or we was looking out thinking it was like if there was someone around, but there was no kids in here, no one upstairs. It was literally just us lot when it, when it was literally just before opening time. And it's just things like that used to happen and I'm not very good with 
it, it scares me and I just, I mean, you know, just get a bit on edge and stuff like that. So it's this table here that you felt something happen? Yeah, so I was sitting here, so I used to work in the mornings on a Wednesday doing the ordering and so I was just sitting here like normal and then all of a sudden I've got this sharp pinch on my shoulder and I jumped up because obviously it was quite a hard pinch and I didn't know like what it was at first and I just like, thought that, that, that's the ghost, I've just been pinched and because this table here I've had customers sitting at it and say oh there's a little girl that's one of them said that watching me eat and said how she likes this table and I've had a few customers that had come in and said about the little girl being here and liking table four and um, yeah, so when I was just stand, sitting there doing my order and the stuff, I've jumped up, leant back, and I've looked. And because the owner, um, he got it back on the cameras, and he see me jump up in the air and just stand there. And I just froze. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know whether to go to the door because I locked that door because I'm here on my own. And I just, yeah, I just froze and had had no idea what I could do because, like I said, it it scares me, and it scared me that that I think it was the little girl had pinched me because I'm guessing sitting here I'm probably the right height for her maybe but compared like with a handprint that's I'm kind of just going with a handprint by the size of her but yeah it's just things like that what was that oh. Oh. could he say that again What was that strange? Oh, I heard that. Yeah. Upstairs. 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 Yeah. Sound can, like a ground. Can you say your name again? Are you upstairs? Oh, it's got really cold around my legs. Yeah. Is it going to be Are you upstairs? Oh, yes. That was a yes. Draft coming down that's here. That's now. what you used to that's be able to feel. I can feel it. It's, I'm really, really cold. Very cold. Yeah. I'm icy. My legs are icy cold. Yeah. So, who are you? We heard you like a growl. <gasps> Come on then. Are you upstairs? Tell us again you're upstairs. Did you get that, Tony? Did you get that ground? Yeah, yeah, I heard that. I don't know what it was. Was that you that made that noise? Is there somebody next door? No, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Can you blow the candle out for us? Go the other way then, because it seemed like it was going to go the other way. Can you turn it? Let's go the other way. Why would he do that? Are you turning the candle holder? You asked it to go the other way. I did, yeah. Is that you doing that? Is that the little girl or the man? Can 
Yeah. There it goes. It is, it is doing it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. When you say it, that is <laughs> so <laughs> crazy. It slowly stops when you say it. Do you remember me being here? Well, we won't, we've asked him to blow it out, but he won't. But it's definitely no. it's definitely been swinging. He's been not turning swinging, it round. Turning it round, and you tell him to stop and turn it round the other way, and he's done it, or well, somebody has. But there was a funny growl upstairs, made people jump. <laughs> it's also around the fireplace. It's very noisy. It's like you can hear the. Like it's like wind it's coming down. Yeah, yeah, but coming it's down. Not, yeah, you can't feel anything. And you put your hand up on up there. There's absolutely no draft at all. Yeah. That's yeah. Stuck it's stuck. And we keep hearing a noise coming down the chimney. We don't know what it is. So there's definitely something there. Although the, the, the lady who was having the meal said that they're not unhappy. She, she said that they're they're okay. They're fine. Oh. They're not, they're not like. Oh, right. They didn't, they didn't like the work, that was, or he didn't like the work that was going on at the time. No, but he knew it had to be done. Yeah, I don't know what the happy difference is of a happy ghost and an angry ghost. Yes. <laughs> what's that? What's that word, Jay? Yeah. It's like there's some, some glasses clinking behind us, the bottles. Did you hear that? Yes, I did hear that. Did you do that? Did you just make the bottles You're move? You're rolling them, yeah, we got that. Crikey, that was, that was right behind us. Yeah. This is where we said that the, yeah. the little girl was. So where we are now is the uh, fireplace where this, where this was sound. discovered. Yes. In the chimney? Yeah, behind? it was all blocked up. Right. And they obviously unblocked it, and they found that in here. The, the the document, which obviously we don't really know what it is. No. Stop. 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 We're not. We're not, we're not, we're not taking this. In fact, this lives here, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, so we'll put it. We'll put it back when we go. Is this Paul? Because there was there was a clear name of Paul, I think. Paul, did you used to live here? There's lots of shadows. Pull again. I say pull again. Yeah. Oh, here's the little girl here who was upstairs. Want to say hello? Girl. There's a little girl here. Is that is that you? Is this the little girl who lives here? Did you just walk back down through the kitchen? There's someone here with us. I know there is now.
There's shadows, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. It's like someone's walking around. See that? Yeah. <gasps> Is that you there? Are you walking around? Are you walking around? Oh my word. I heard that. I'm frozen. It's a pool, pool, isn't it? Pool. Mm -hmm. So what's the girl's name? Who's the girl with you? What's your name? Come on, come forward. Or just throw something or make a noise. There's something. You hear, you hear sounds all the time coming yeah. from upstairs. There's something up there, up isn't the stairs, there? Yeah. Are you up the stairs? That door's open now. Did we only leave that door open? I don't think we did. Didn't we? No. There's a, there's a door open up there now. So this is the, um, the top of the building. We're actually in the attic, pretty much. Yes, this is what they use as a, 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 a bar. A gym bar. A gym bar. Yeah. You probably can't see it on camera, but this building, all the floors are on the angles and the ceilings are low and yeah, it's it's really, you can, it's just got that old feel about it. Yes, it? yeah, and because it is very cold, yeah, it's given us that kind of feeling as well. And this has almost been constant. We've gone down to two now. Hello? <gasps> That sounded like a hello, didn't it? Yeah. No? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Are you here? Come forward. Can I say something to us? That's moving. It's moving. What's going on? It's moving. Moving. How did that move? That? I did see that. Anyone here with us now? Right, we now moved from behind the bar to here because we felt a lot of action was happening here, didn't we? There's sort of... Well, there's definitely sounds coming from this corner. Yeah. So we're going to sit here. Quietly. Silence. See if anything happens. Since we've been sitting here, the EMF have actually got three lights now and that's kind of been constant. And it's definitely... Something a bit bummy mm. feeling around here. Yeah. So um, we're just a bit more calling out and um, but then we'll be quiet. So is there any spirit people here that would like to um, speak to us, come forward, touch one of us, um, move something, try and say something. So we'll be nice and quiet for you so we can hear out here. Just see an orbit just before you said that, actually. Yeah. What do you feel like? Just almost like a shadow, so that would call it my eye. Let's try something. Make a noise. Come on. Speaking. Can you hear that? Look at that. Are you sitting there still? Yeah. Why is that creaking? Do 
Tony, you're not moving, are you? Sitting really still, aren't we? That's crazy. Because something's making a, a sound now. What a fascinating evening here at uh, Bar Amigo. I mean, lots going on. It's been amazing, yeah. And um, we started off, didn't we, with the, the bird cage yeah, the other night, yeah. and it just move in. Um, and what stood around. out for me was the clinking bottles oh, upstairs definitely. in the stock room. And we both agreed it was the, it was basically the quietest place in the whole building. Yes. And we definitely heard that, the, them clinking together. There's stuff going on here. We've got the feeling there's a young child around here all the time. Yeah. Um, playfully looking at us, ducking back away again. And also a guy called Paul who lives here. We got that on the spirit box, yeah. didn't we, a couple of times. So I think it's something, I mean, perhaps we've got unfinished business here and we need to come back. Yes, but, definitely. Anyway, for now, you'll be watching Haunted Hitching.